Well, this week we've discovered something which is completely shocking and something we have to deal with ASAP. Now, if you watch my Stafford video, you may have noticed this. Right there, and then a couple of new lovely budgies for the flock. We've got two violets, which I've always wanted because they're so unique. Yes, all the birds in that cage seem fine, but if we zoom in a bit closer... And then a couple of new lovely budgies for the flock. We've got two violets. Yes, that bird has a problem. It has French malt. Let's talk about it. Now, a little bit of change of scenario here. We're filming outside. We usually do not film outside, but for this video, we have to film outside, which brings me on to my first point, why French malt is bad. The reason is because it is highly contagious. Uh, this can travel through air, and if you keep it in the same flock or in the same room as your other birds, you have a chance of your other birds uh, catching this deadly virus. Now, French malt does affect all birds. We're talking budgies, so it does affect all the budgies. Now, you do have a slightly lower chance of it affecting budgies with a stronger immune system. Now, that obviously depends on the vitamins, the nutrition, and what you feed your bird to strengthen its immune system. I use Nutribol, Avimix, Iodine, and all sorts of different types of nutritional products that are safe for birds to strengthen their immune system. It is important for birds to have a strong immune system because of how tiny they are and how easy it is for them to get sick or to get to gain some type of illness now French malt budgies may look normal but sometimes they will regrow their feathers as normal but then later on they will drop all of them turning it back to the beginning now let's talk about contagious contagious and how contagious this is again I know I did mention this just a little while ago but when French malts have a virus they are able to regrow their normal feathers and look like a normal bird the problem is the shedding when they drop their feathers again this will shed the virus through dust and dander through the air in an enclosed space so for example if I was to have this bird right inside my shed and it shed it so the virus would travel through the air through dust particles and dander particles dander is little uh, types of like dandruff that you get from budgies so budgie dandruff uh, and it will travel through the shed and will land on obviously other birds making them capture the virus so hence the reason why if you have a French mob budgie you should not keep it with other birds unless the other bird as well has uh, French malt as well so if you have two birds with French malt it's okay to keep them because they already have virus and you shouldn't have any problem Now, French malt does also reduce the lifespan of a budgie by one year so if your budgie if your typical budget averages from five to six years alive then it can be reduced to three to four years depending on how again the immune system of the budgie is if it's a strong immune system you should expect it to last a very long time if it's a lower and weaker immune system you should expect it to last no less than uh, three to four years maximum maybe here are a few of the photos of before and what the bird looks like now so here's the bird right here. Now one thing I'd like to point out is that if you are handing a bird with French malt, be sure to wash your hands thoroughly before handing other birds because this is another way it can contage, it can contact, it can be transferred to other birds. So be sure when handling a bird with French malt, as you can see, be sure to um, wash your hands thoroughly. As you can see, he can fly a few distance, not a lot, but um, he's a lovely bird. I'm so bummed to let him go, as you can see. Oh shit. Now this makes me point out one thing and one thing only. Before you buy your birds, make sure to check on them. Uh, <laughs> yes, I didn't do that. Obviously didn't do that. Then check the bird, because the bird clearly had French malt and it had signs of it in the video of Stafford. So um, again, I was excited, first day there, 
you know, no excuses. I should have checked the birds. Yes, no excuses. But again, I was excited, happy to be there, first time there. Excited to see so many different types of birds, so many mutations of budgies, so many rare budgies as well uh, that I didn't even bother checking the birds. So uh, that is my lesson for next time when I go to Stafford in October to check the birds before uh, they go in. in the, the cage, the flight cage with the other birds. Now you may also be wondering if you say this is a very uh, um, contagious and it affects other birds, what about the birds that were in the cage with your budgie with French malt? <clears throat> now that is a tricky question which is I am able to answer it slightly. Uh, again, as soon as they came to uh, this uh, cage right here as soon as I put them in I had them on antibiotics which will help them fight any type of diseases that they may have been carrying or any type of virus now the, obviously this is not enough to kill the French malt virus because as again they could be still carrying it but they are on a full nutritional diet with vitamins and all uh, things to help the immune system to become stronger haven't noticed any signs of feather droppings or any type of unusual um, looks in terms of the birds I have but but if that is the case, I will obviously document it and show you guys as well and remove the birds. If all my birds happen to have French malt virus, then this is a total disaster and a really costly one. So fingers crossed and I'm pretty sure nothing is wrong with them uh, again. But uh, obviously remove this guy before anything worse happen, before any breeding happen. I don't have them breeding now, but they will be breeding starting this week. So uh, I'll put the nest boxes up and see how it goes. But uh, yes, let's fingers crossed and nothing happens to my current birds as well. Uh, but yeah, this is a total disaster. This could become a very total disaster and a costly, costly mistake. But yeah, that is it. That is the cover of French malt virus. It is, uh, if you want to do some research, some more in depth research of this type of virus, be sure to uh, have a look in Google online uh, to check that out as well. This is the knowledge I know about it and what I've learned from it. I did have uh, a French malt bird in the past, very, uh, when I started YouTube, uh, when I got my first budgie and then my second budgie, she had French malt. But as you saw by my uh, Chilinho, he didn't have any sort of French malt virus or any sort of visible um, things that would suggest that he had virus. And yet he lasted quite a long, quite a couple of years. So uh, again, if you have good nutritional diet for your birds if you have a good vitamin supply for your birds if you have good nutrition in total and have your birds on a full healthy diet then I'm pretty sure you will not have problems with this virus and this virus will want to not step on your birds because your birds are obviously much more healthier now what will I be doing with this guy now this guy I am um, I have him inside at the moment uh, since when I released these guys, which was two, three weeks ago, I think, the Stafford video. Uh, so whenever the Stafford video was up, that's when uh, I released this guy, uh, well, the other birds inside and this guy as separators. Because I had a good look at them before I released them. I like to inspect the birds. Uh, obviously there with the chaos and the, uh, you know, all the energy I wanted to, I didn't have time to uh, check the birds. But, um, what will I be doing with this guy? This guy is now up for rehoming. I'm going to rehome this guy. Uh, he is a lovely bird. I really, really love the violets, but unfortunately, you got to do what you got to do. But yeah, that's the video. I hope you guys enjoyed. It's a little sit down video. I know it's one of the boring kind of things, but I thought I'd put this out there before I do my reveal of the birds, which birds I got, because I actually bought 16 birds. And if I, if I was to show 15 birds, you'll be asking where the other bird is. So uh, hence the reason I did this one first and uh, didn't do my reveal. That's next video. That's going to be next week. So I'm going to, this one's obviously uploaded today, Sunday. So it's going to be on Wednesday. So that be sure to stay tuned for that. I'm going to film that one now so we can have two videos in one week. Hope you guys enjoyed the little sit down video. French malt virus. That's the topic of the video. Hope you guys enjoyed. Be sure to click the subscribe button, hit the notification bell. It's all completely free. You don't have to have, you don't have to pay to be subscribed. It's free. You are just supporting the channel and helping us out with the animals and help us grow and make more amazing things and create amazing mutations. Uh, that's all you're doing when you're subscribing and liking and commenting the videos. You're supporting us and supporting all the birds. Be sure to also check my social medias, my Instagram, Facebook, TikTok pages as well. Uh, 
uh, where I do a lot of behind the scenes and do a lot of shorts there so if you guys are interested in that kind of thing be sure to check them down below all the links are down below if you scroll down to the description area you'll see all of that but other than that guys I hope you guys enjoyed have a good day and God bless you all and bye bye